Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to have a quick look at a basic electrical diagram. So I'm on the new page, and you can see I've got a, an electrical diagram there, basic electrical. However, that would not normally be there unless you just used it. It lives in categories, so I'll click on categories, and if I come down a bit, you can see it's under engineering. So if I double click into engineering, not process diagram, and then you've got basic electrical there. So double click on that, and then you've got some options already set up. Um, simple diagram there, but let's just do a blank one. Now, what I uh, recommend people do is, um, we'll just close this one down that I've already got. What I recommend people do is um, create your own stencil and add the common symbols from all these stencils that you might um, use a lot. So if you look at the moment, you've got fundamental items at the top there. In fact, there's something above that, isn't there? Quick shapes here. So that's even, these will be the, the ones that are used the most. You've got um, some of the most common things there. But then you've got fundamental items and quite a few more there. And qualifying symbols. And then down below that, semiconductors, lots of shapes and switches and relays. So you could spend quite a lot of time looking for things in there. But the good news is, you, like I said, you can create your own stencil, but you can also search for things. So if I search for a diode this just looks through all of the stencils not just this diagram and comes up with some um, diodes now whichever one you want you just pull it onto the screen very small that so i'll just zoom this up a little bit and then what we'll do then is once we've got all of these if i just double click on that i can just type what it is diode and then if i search for a resistor and you, there's a resistor pull that on the screen double click on that one call it resistor obviously you've got different names and different things that you might need to put on these things but that you can do that afterwards if i then do battery in a battery um motor cell battery that'll do put that on Double click on that, call that a 9 volt battery, in fact not 9, 12 volt battery. And then um, I want an LED light, so you type LED, get some different options. I'll have this one, um, yeah I'll have that one. And I'll just double click on that, call it LED like so and where else do I want I want a transistor so transistor and then you've got lots of different types of transistor I'll go for um, that one double click on that okay it's not letting me double click on it that's unusual Try typing in here. Yeah, let me do it now. Let's just do type one. Now, there's your diagram. Say that's all you want, and you want maybe a line. So I'll just get a normal line. Now there are lines in here. And if I, to get back to these stencils, you have to close this search box, close that down, and come back to your stencils. So there are um, lines that you can select from from here. Um, but I want to just so there look you've got transmission path a little line direction of flow a little line so direction and path you can name these whatever you want like I've said so what I'm going to do is going to add all of these to a, my own little stencil. So to create a stencil, you go more shapes, uh, new stencil. 
before they got one called electric so I'll have to give it a different name so I'm going to add in resistor it comes up with master so you need to rename it again resistor and 12 volt battery 12 volt battery and then diode so you're just putting these in here so you've got them again and you can just call this stencil up anytime you want now on any diagram so this is a diode and then we've got a transistor and an LED light so transistor LED and then we can maybe do this path as well front direction and then you're saving it so you save that stencil as electric 2 I have to call it electric 1 sorry not 2 so electric one so I've already got one that I did earlier so these are all my other little stencils you can do all sorts of stencils and if I um, close this stencil down I've saved it already so I can just close it now if I need this again you just now have to go and open the stencil as opposed to create a new one open and then electric one is there you can just open it up again and it should come up like so so now you're ready to do your little diagram so you're just dragging on these shapes uh, so you bring the path on um, don't want to do that actually so this is um, quite an awkward little thing to work around so let's stick it onto there so we're going from there up to a resistor. Where's the resistor? There. That should stick onto the end of that. Get another path. Stick it on the end of there. Make it a bit longer than that. Using a little arrow key to come back and put an LED light on the end of that. So this path, I'm not liking this path. So what I'm going to do is just get a line and do it in a line. It doesn't matter. It's easier to connect up. It's the same job. Just make sure you take that off at the end. So now that should connect into that. Yep. So, um, now I want another line coming down from there. So I'll draw another line again. Coming down, um, out of the LED, down to a transistor. So now I can bring on the transistor. Try and get that to join up. Take the line off. Okay, I'll do. And I want the line coming out the bottom of that. And then going across. And then what I need here is another line coming down. And I want another resistor. sit on there to take the line off do that a minute take the line tool off and then the line tool can come out of that resistor 
down to a diode. Right, I need to rotate these shapes. Yep, that'll do. So I need that to be on this side, so I now need to get a line tool to get this to come down. And let's rotate this one as well. It's not doing anything there, so I don't want to do that. So this line is just playing around with this line. So this is what I want to rotate. That's it. Exactly like that. So then I can then position that onto this line. And then this, resist, uh, this diode can go on the bottom of that one. So, and then I need to join this line across or extend this line across. In fact, I've made a mistake there. That needs not to come there. That needs to sit over here. I need to draw two more lines. So I need to draw a line coming out and across. Like so. Run that way. Like so. And then this comes down to another resistor and this comes down to the diode. Let's try to connect up there. Uh, let's come down to the diode first. Down to the diode. And this one, this is need this needs to come across. Just take the point tool on, drag this across a bit. And that can come down. This is wanting to make a rectangle, which I don't want it to do. In fact, I don't want that to do that either. That needs to go into another resistor. So just undo that and that. So it wants to come down a little bit. Then I want to copy this resistor. Copy that and paste it there, and then move it down into the new alignment. And then out of the bottom of that one, so the line thicknesses probably need to be adjusted actually, looking at this. That wants to come down to there, and that one wants to move across. Like so. And then this one needs to come down from the bottom of that that diode into the baseline as well. So I could have brought the baseline straight across to be honest. So I should probably take that all the way across. So it's gonna go up to the battery. Back to the battery. Like so. So that needs to not be like that actually, let's make this a bit longer. So it's going to line up with the line coming down from the other terminal, like so. So that's um, a very simplistic diagram. Now you can change the width of these lines to match those resistors, so I don't know what size they are actually. Probably one and a half, maybe, maybe two, yeah, two. So the only problem with that, then it knocks this out of sync, because the line you can't, I don't think you can adjust the line in here. Let's try. Oh, yes, you can, that's good. So now we can put each line to two and a quarter, weight to two and a quarter, so it matches the resistors. But I think the, the process here is to um, 
have as much of as many of the items that you use a lot in your own little stencil and then you can quickly drag them and create your little diagrams without having to look through hundreds and hundreds of different stencil sets and if you if you are searching and you don't know what it's called it's um, still a long laborious process trying to find things through search um, trying to just create some consistency with these lines that's what I'm doing here last one I think one more after that so basically that's all I wanted to go through on this little ex exercise um, electrical diagram I don't for one second want anybody to think that I'm an electrician and I know what I'm doing so if you are an electrician and this diagram is wrong forgive me the process what I'm trying to show you is you can use Visio to do these sort of diagrams and you can put the, the grid on as well if you want if you want to be a bit more accurate with it but it's the, the process I'm trying to go get, get over to you is create your own stencil pull things in to your stencil so if you've created a stencil you don't have to do what I did drag things on there um, you can just pull them down from from there so if you wanted that for example I can just drag that onto my stencil my stencil opens and I just drop it in there and then I'll have to save it again so you know you may it's a quick way if you find something you just drag it hover wait until the stencil drawers I'm going to call it opens and then you can just drop it in there and then save and that's it so hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one